Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Catherine, your host to Good Morning to the Leader in You. Well, we are back for another edition. And one of the things that we're going to talk about today is loyalty traps. Yes, loyalty traps. You know, sometimes we are in unhealthy relationships because we're loyal to those unhealthy relationships. We're loyal to people and it's past the expiration We're loyal to things in our life and we should have gotten rid of those things. We're loyal to ideologies, certain ways we think about things, perspectives on things. And it is a loyalty trap. Sometimes individuals, people, associations will want to keep you in bondage because they say, well, you're not being loyal. But if that loyalty is hindering forward movement it is a loyalty trap loyalty is an awesome thing i totally believe in loyalty but if that loyal connection is not loyal to you it is abusive and it should be severed you see loyalty goes two ways not just one way so you have to think about your relationships you have to think about your connections you have to think about your collaborations Are these healthy, loyal connections that's mutually beneficial or is it just one sided? You know, when we build and we grow and we develop, we have to always be assessing where we are and what we are doing. And when we talk about being a leader and we talk about building a business, sometimes the the uh, level in which we can grow is stunted. Because we are in loyalty traps. We're in situations and associations that we shouldn't even still be in anymore. But because the guilt is there, whether it's from internally, you feel guilty to leave whatever that situation is. Or the people themselves are making you feel guilty that it's time for you to grow and move on. You see, a healthy relationship can always identify when it's a change in the season. And both parties can always say, listen, You know what, maybe in this junction of our life, you have to go that way, that path, and I have to go this path, but we don't have to end with any animosity. That's the level of a mature leader. And sometimes leaders try to hold on to people and you know the expiration date, it was time for them to move on. My thing is this, and and this is how I've always thought about things, even with every business and different things that I'm doing. When the time is up for the person to be in my circle, association, business, tutelage, mentorship, when it's over, it's over. I'm not holding nobody hostage. And some of y'all are out there being held hostage. You're being held hostage in a loyalty trap and the expiration date was over one year ago. It was over two years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago. Let's try that a decade ago. It should have been dead, but you're still in that loyalty trap because of guilt. And sometimes that guilt is rooted in trauma. And because you haven't dealt with your trauma, you're allowing people to keep you in loyal traps. You're not loyal to your mission, your purpose or your assignment for your life. You're you're in a loyalty trap of your past. And that loyalty trap has prevented you to move forward. It's prevented you to even be in your present. Sometimes we can't even be in the present moment because we're stuck back 10 years ago. We're still tied to a person or a thing or association or ideology, a a pattern of thinking. And we're still tied to that. Therefore, we cannot move forward. What are you tied to today that has been past the expiration date? I'm pausing because I want you to think about it. What are you still attached to? And you know you should have been released it. You see, I went through this process of examining myself, my life as well, as we all have to as leaders, as business owners, as as creative uh, beings. We have to always be in a state of examining because if not, we will get in, in 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 a rut and we won't know why we got there. And better yet, we won't even know how to get out. 
because then you you know you heard that term to say people feel like they're on this rat race that people are on a rat race because they are in loyalty traps beyond an expiration date that's just like food or, or, or you know things that you have to refrigerate they give you an expiration date and oftentimes they say you you ain't supposed to eat that or consume whatever product past that date now what will happen if you consumed milk let's use that as an example past this expiration date let's say it was two weeks past the expiration date and you tried to drink that milk well you're going to want to spit it out you're going to want to throw it out because it's going to be quite nasty and it's, and it's not going to settle well with your stomach it's the same thing in life we have learned how to deal with that sour milk in our life because we feel we can't do no better We've learned to deal with expired milk in our life and we drink that old thing over and over again and consume it. And we say, well, I can't it can't get better than this. So I'm just going to stick with the expiration. I'm just going to stick with this old product. I'm going to stick with this old person. I'm going to stick with this old association. I'm going to stick with this old thing. I'm going to stick with my old way of thinking because I don't think I can do any better than this. If that's you, I'm speaking to your heart and mind that this is your season to shift, to change. Then, yes, you can do better than this. You do not have to stay in loyalty traps and you don't have to have nobody that make you feel guilty. And you do not have to guilt yourself. Sometimes it ain't other people guilting you. You're guilting yourself because you're wondering what they're going to think if you move out into where you're supposed to go to. I've had different junctions in my life that I had to shift, change, pivot. I'm going to write a book called Transitions because there's been so many transitions in my life. But you know what? Transitions is a good thing. Sometimes people look at it as a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. At least you moving forward. At least you're not stagnant. Sometimes we, we, we think, well, if I just, I'm going to just hold out. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just go through the go through. I'm going to just go through the most turbulent, whatever that turbulent is. And again, I'm not saying that there aren't times that we're going to go through things and we're not going to have to just really learn lessons in different experiences. Absolutely. I've gone through many things, but sometimes we condition our mindset to think that we just have to live there forever. You don't have to live in chaos forever. You don't have to live in dysfunction forever. You don't. Now, if you embrace that for your life, that means you've embraced it past the expiration date. There are certain situations in our life that's going to be uncomfortable things we have to go through so it can mature us, so it can grow us up. Absolutely. But we do not have to live in chaos. We do not have to live in dysfunction. We do not have to live there. If we're going to go to a higher level in a, in a, in a greater destination, in a place for our life, we will have to let those loyalty traps go. Or it's going to continue to consume us and we're not going to get to the next level of our life, get to the next place of, uh, of purpose. Right. Shouldn't we all be walking in purpose and abundance? Why are we not walking in abundance? If we're not walking in abundance, you have to ask yourself, why, why, why am I not walking in abundance? Just pause and ask yourself, why am I not walking in abundance? Perhaps you're in a loyalty trap. That's choking off the very creativity side of you from thinking of those cra uh, crazy inventions and ideas for your business that can just totally radically change your financial status, radically change your surroundings and everything that you're dealing with. You're in a loyalty trap. You're so loyal to dysfunction. You don't know how to live a life without dysfunction. You're so loyal to chaos. You don't know how to live life without chaos. It's time to 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 break those chains. Break those chains on your life and be free and walk in the leadership capacity that you're supposed to be walking into because you can't fully walk into the leadership capacity that you're supposed to walk into if you're bound in loyalty traps. I just wanted to talk about this before we continue to go throughout this year, because a lot of times we waste a lot of time and we don't hit our goals because we're stuck in situations. Hopefully something that was said today was ins inspirational and, and can impact you in some kind of way. I'm Catherine Trotter. If you need assistance with business development, 
strategic planning, getting your 501c3 tax exempt status, send me an email, ct at katherinetrotter.com. And of course, check out my website, www.katherinetrotter.com. All of my social media handles, Facebook and Instagram is under CTR Strategy Solutions. And I would love to work with you again. Get out of those loyalty traps. And I know sometimes people say, well, it's easier said than done. Absolutely. I've been in many loyalty traps, but I, it, it came to a point when I had to come into my Catherine moment like Catherine. OK, you can't live here any longer. And some of you got to come to yourself and tell yourself you cannot live here any longer. This is CT Speaks. I'm getting ready to sign off till next time. And I'm going to see everybody at the top.